Hey friends, we are back to continue talking about affordable housing in Telluride, Colorado, and today's focus is the highly controversial Ridge development on Last Dollar Road near the Telluride Airport. This is a 105-acre parcel that the town and the county are in the process of acquiring. 39 acres of the parcel will be dedicated to to housing, and it will range from anywhere from 150 up to over 700 units. We're still not sure what that number will look like. They will all be three-bedroom homes available to affordably purchase for our Telluride workforce. Now, in order for this to happen, the zoning needs to change. It is currently zoned for one house per 35 acres, and that needs to be updated to the community housing zone, which would allow for 20 homes per acre, 20% of which can be allocated for RV hookups and yurts. So that's the conversation that's going to be happening at the county commissioners meeting. In advance of that, my goal is not to ask you to voice your support or to voice your opposition. It's just to provide you with all of the information from both sides of the conversation so that you truly understand this project as a whole. Well, I'm just going to break this down into pros and cons. And to start with the pros, they're pretty obvious. This is affordable housing and we need affordable housing. We need a lot of it and we need it fast. And this meets the need of families who aren't looking for a rental condo in town. These are larger homes with a little bit more space on a beautiful parcel that is for purchase. So you're able to own your own home out here. Um, It has all day sun. It has the ability to tap into town's water and it's not a far commute from either town or mountain village. So at a surface level, this is pretty much a no-brainer. The cons, on the other hand, are a little bit more complicated and they are plenty. Um, I'm going to start with the one that I find the most problematic, which is just the amount of money that our governments are going to have to spend on this project. The property alone is being purchased for $7.2 million. If I had to personally value this 105 acres of land, I'd probably put it at five and a quarter million. So I don't really understand why we're paying a premium for this property in addition to the significant amount of expense it's going to take to bring in infrastructure, to pave roads, to build a new firehouse, for everything else that has to be done to build this amount of density in this particular area. For me, that is problematic when there are other parcels that are more easily accessible in terms of infrastructure and less expensive or that the town and county already own. Another con that's really standing out to me, and I learned this from speaking with Jim Lucarelli, who is incredibly knowledgeable, not only on Deep Creek Mesa, but also with the FAA, and that is that three fatal plane crashes have taken place on this property. With its proximity to the airport, the FAA still has not approved this property to be safe for this level of density. So that's obviously a pretty major concern. The rest of the cons get more complicated because it really all comes down to the due process of this, which I do have to agree is a little bit on the sketchy side, the way some of this went down. There have been some ex parte communications with county commissioners trying to push this community housing zone through without input of the neighbors, which I understand being passionate about affordable housing and wanting to avoid the whole aspect of nimbyism, but that's not really how the democratic process works. There is some question about the seller who is going to keep his adjacent property. He's been rumored to always want to develop a hotel or resort on his property and the advantage for him of having the town purchase this property at a premium and pay to bring in that infrastructure is that he may be able to do so. There hasn't been a wildlife study done on this property. There hasn't been a traffic study done. There is no preliminary layout to show what a development like this would look like. There's no fire truck turnaround plan. I'm going to leave it at that. I could really talk about this all day, but the county commissioners meeting about the community housing zoning is taking place this Wednesday. I highly encourage you to at least tune into that just to hear what people have to say about this project again from both sides of the conversation, and I will continue to keep you posted as more unfolds on the project. So feel free to always reach out with any questions, and I look forward to keeping you all updated.